Hey everyone, it's been a little while. I've been really busy with work, so that took priority these last couple of weeks. And I'm a little bit behind on reviews that I planned, but we do have a lot of stuff coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Today, we're going a bit of a different route as we look at the Fossey Audio K5 Pro Mini DAC. I don't normally review source gear, and I'll be honest, I'm not as deep into source gear as I am when it comes to headphones or IEMs, but Fossey Audio wanted me to try it at least and give my thoughts on it, so here it is. The Fossey Audio K5 Pro Mini is a desktop DAC and amp that comes in at around $8 from what I can find on online retailer like Amazon. The K5 Pro Mini is marketed as a DAC for gaming and aims to be a budget, all-in-one product for people to use on computers or on gaming consoles. And as a budget product, it does seem to offer some compelling features for the price. The unit is all made of metal, so it feels well built and a little bit heavy while still being on the smaller side. It has separate 3.5 millimeter jacks for the headphone and microphone, but it does include an adapter for the headset if it uses a single combo jack. The K5 Pro is powered by USB-C, which can also be used as the input for audio, but it does also have options for optical or coaxial. On the back, it also has RCA out, so you can connect your speakers and monitors to the DAC. The RCA audio out is controlled by the volume knob on the front though, so if you turn it up or down, it will affect the output on the back. The K5 Pro includes a bass and treble knobs to adjust to your preference. These are quite simple shelves and wider than I would probably prefer, so I would still recommend using something like Equalizer APO if you have that option. But as just a quick adjustment, it does work. The knobs are also made of metal, and the bass and treble knobs are a bit more tight when you turn them, and snap back to the middle position so it's easier to find center. The volume knob though does feel like it has more play in it when you turn it. For sound, you probably know that I don't put that much weight into most sources sounding drastically different from one another, but there are some things to talk about with this. Now the volume knob starts with its lowest volume at around the 7 o'clock position, and then maxes out at about 5 o'clock. With IEMs, I never found that I turn them up above 10 o'clock. And with headphones, around 3 or 4 o'clock seems like the upper limits of what I'd be able to comfortably listen to. One thing to note is that there is an audible noise floor once you turn it up higher. At around the 3 to 4 o'clock position, both on IEMs and headphones, I, I am able to hear a background white noise when there's nothing else playing. But for the most part, I don't think most people will be turning it up that loud. With my HD600, I found I was comfortably listening at around the 12 o'clock position. So overall, considering the price, it is a decent little unit, and it could be a decent budget option as a DAC or a simple interface for someone who just likes the game.